Hello! My name is Renan, and you may or may not have watched my guides for P8 Savage, which I released earlier in week one of the raid tier. I'm still pretty happy with them for the most part, and I believe the strategies are safe and replicatable for PF, but I've seen a little confusion from a few viewers on our natural alignment discussion. Today's video is going to show more footage, updated diagrams, and a more detailed discussion on how to cleanly deal with natural alignment both times it appears in the encounter. This is going to include dealing with the stack and spread component at the beginning of the encounter, followed by fire and ice. It will also discuss the second stack spread later in the encounter when you have more limited space to deal with. Let's get into it. Hephaestus will cast natural alignment shortly after the first tank buster. Two players will be debuffed, either two DPS or two support players. This debuff will cause a number of effects for those marked players. Firstly, they will receive a heavy dot for the duration of the buff and it lasts a long time, so healers need to pay special attention to them. Secondly, if those two players are hit with any other mechanics, they will detonate and wipe the raid. Thirdly, the telegraphs for some upcoming mechanics will appear above those two players' heads, so the rest of the raid really wants to ensure that they have them in view at all times. For now, have the group stack a little inside the boss's hitbox and send those natural alignment players all the way to the front of the arena together. As the boss begins to cast Twist Nature, you should see a stack and a spread marker with an empty progress bar appear above one of the two players' heads. Following this, a Tyrant's Flare cast will begin and one of the progress bars will begin filling. These progress bars dictate the order in which mechanics resolve. So if stack starts filling first, it will be stack, then spread, and vice versa. When the Tyrant's Flame cast ends, puddles will drop under each player. If it is stack first, the party should move backwards to the edge of the boss hitbox. If it is spread first, players should spread, avoiding the north edge of the arena. The two debuffed players can just dodge left or right of their spot, and then move back into their position. Ashing Blaze will then cast, which is a half arena cleave. Make sure to move to the safe side and deal with the second of the stack spread mechanic on the untouched half of the arena. I found the best way to consistently deal with spreading for this mechanic and also the previous one is to give each player a spot directly on the corner of a tile on one half of the arena. This is far enough away from one another to avoid overlapping spread and you can just flip it if you're on the other side of the arena. It's consistent, it's easy and it allows for caster uptime because you can position them in smart spots. It's important to note that the two natural alignment players do not need to do these mechanics. Just stay out of the mess and enjoy the view from the front. Next up, the natural alignment players will once again show fire and ice with progress bars. Ice will hit the two closest players and must be taken in three-man stacks. Fire will hit the three furthest players and must be taken in two-man pairs. Alongside this, on the side of the arena, adds will spawn and shoot beams, covering all of the rows of tiles except for one. An easy rule of thumb is that one of the two front rows will always be safe for the first fire ice mechanic, and the second of the front two rows will always be safe for the second mechanic. I believe the best way to deal with these fire and ice mechanics is actually not my group strategy, but one that Scripes group made. Uh, you may notice it in PF as Echo Natural Alignment. So I want to give credit where credit is due once more by showcasing this strategy. The natural alignment players will be placed at the middle on the center edge of their safe tile. For ice, the two groups of three will be to the left and the right of middle, one square across. You can use the markings on the floor, specifically the edges of the squares to position for this. All you need to do is make sure that one player is slightly inside the edge of the square and the other two are a tiny bit further out, either directly on the line or even a step outside if they prefer. For fire, two pairs take almost identical positions to the ice boss, but with the outer player just inside the tile line, and the inner player can be a couple of steps further in. As long as they aren't stacked, the positioning is actually incredibly lenient. You don't need to worry too much if you are the inner player. And the third group will need to position depending on the safe spot. If the safe spot is front row, then they will be all the way at the front at the wall, if the safe row is back row, as in second row, they will be at the back of the square. Tanks and healers go left, DPS go right. When natural alignment spawns, you need to check whether it is tank healer marked or DPS marked. 
One player from the unmarked group is going to be assigned to be the adjust. This player is going to swap sides for the ice mechanic, otherwise every player has essentially fixed positions. It could even be macroed easily to give players more static spots. For fire, the non-natural alignment group takes the pair on their side and also the middle pair. As an example for our group, if DPS gets natural alignment, one tank adjusts for ice, and if we have tank healer natural alignment, one melee adjusts. For the second natural alignment, which occurs later in the encounter after high concept, you also need to deal with the reverse buff. Make sure to make a note of it, if a player has the reverse debuff, their natural alignment mechanics will go off in the opposite order to how they would based on the visuals, so pay special attention. Fire and Ice is identical to the way you resolved it earlier in the fight, but I really want to discuss this altered stack spread just a little bit. Ads are going to spawn on the side of the arena, so instead of dealing with the mechanics with half of the arena space, you instead need to solve them with only one row worth of arena space. Similar to Fire Ice, after one mechanic goes off, the other of the front two columns will be safe for the second mechanic. The natural alignment marked players are always going to be in the middle at the front of their safe row. The unmarked players spread in a zigzag formation around them. There is easily enough room to fix eight positions around the natural alignment, but you can also fairly effectively wing it if you wish, there is tons of room. If it is stack, the stack goes directly behind the two natural alignment players at the back of the tile, while the two natural alignment players will be at the front of the tile. These clips should showcase this. Thank you so much for watching everyone, I really hope that this cleared up any confusion and also have a safer, more concrete way of dealing with position for these mechanics. Have a fantastic rest of your day and good luck with prog.